Thank you all. And uh, uh, I think the most entertaining part of my speech might be my sitting, uh, because <laughs> it's, a, it's a very high stage, but I'm used to speaking while sitting, so I will attempt to get on it without falling off. Okay, so that went well. The, the second most entertaining part will be when I have to get off this. <laughs> um, I've been invited to this uh, wonderful event uh, uh, to speak about uh, winning ideas for the 21st century. And uh, when I thought about winning ideas, I thought, you know, I, I don't really want to share my ideas. They might be winning ideas, they might be losing ideas. I will know as I, as I develop them. And uh, there are very clever speakers here who are sharing really some fantastic concepts and, and ideas. And more importantly, I think that there are very clever, especially young people in this audience who have probably some fantastic ideas. So what I thought perhaps to talk about, to, to change a little bit the, the theme, is to talk about not so much an idea or some ideas, but what to do with our ideas. So what to do with our potentially winning ideas for the 21st century. And I think that Shaolin culture has some uh, tips and pointers and, and tricks that can help us do something with these ideas rather than just leave them as ideas. So the first step into managing an idea in Shaolin is exactly what the title of my speech is, which is to think small. And to think small means to start from the most basic thing that I have control of, which is myself. So we are all like a little bit like a stone that we throw in the water, that we throw in the wonderful lake that you have just a few meters away from here. So when you throw a stone in the water, it creates some ripples that move out. And some of us are very big stones, very influential stones. They can create big waves that propagate very far. And some of us are very small stones, and we just create a few little waves that propagate within our family network, or a little bit further, not much. But where we have total control is of ourselves. We are the constant in the movie of our life. And so when it comes to developing any kind of idea, in Shaolin culture, we start thinking small, meaning we start thinking with us to make us enabled and able to develop that idea in some way within our small network of influence. And then, if we have the power and the effort and the, and the dynamism and the discipline, those waves might get bigger and bigger and propagate further and further. The second principle that uh, Shaolin culture applies to this uh, process of, of nurturing an idea and making it into something is to focus on the present. Ideas are often viewed as something for the future, developing something for the future, for the next century, for the next decade, for whatever. But actually, where we go, where we will be tomorrow, is today. So today we will travel some kind of journey, which will take us to where we will be tomorrow, and so on and so forth. So actually, the idea, this future idea, is realized in the present moment, because the present is the only reality. You know, at this moment, us in this room is the only real thing for us. Everything else is either a memory of the past or an imagination of some possible future which might or might not materialize. So if you have an idea, a potentially winning idea, do something about that idea now. Do something in the present. Maybe something small. Again, think small. Don't think of a big thing. A small step and a small step today and a small step tomorrow and a small step the next day will take you and that idea along a journey. And the next key point is exactly that concept of journey. We all operate on destinations, on goals. Even our schooling system and uh, our work system is all structured on goals and targets and exams and objectives and so on. But actually, life is probably 1% destinations and 99% journey. So if I'm not enjoying the journey, at best, I'm having an awful 99% and then a real celebration when I reach that 1% of destinations. At worst, I don't reach the destination. And then it was really all just a useless struggle. So enjoying the journey is far more important, according to Shaolin culture, than just focusing on the destination. The goal is important. 
but it is the journey that will take me to that goal. And along the journey, I might discover other goals, or I might discover that that goal is not reachable, but there is something else that is reachable, and so on and so forth. So focus more on the journey, focus more on those small steps that created the journey, rather than just on the big possible potential destination at the end. The next rule of this kind of uh, mindset is to not be afraid of mistakes. We are all afraid of making mistakes, but actually mistakes are a key element of the learning process. So um, I was speaking earlier to some of the organizers here and they, they told me that most of the people in the audience are students or they are somehow involved in the academic field. And uh, without offending anyone, but actually school is the exact opposite of life. Let me tell you. Okay. So, in, in, in school, you know, you study lessons and then you do an exam. In life, you do an exam, then you learn the lesson after. Okay. <laughs> and I at university, if you did exams without knowing the lesson, you would fail a hell of a lot of them. You know? So, I in life, it's the same thing. You know, you're going to fail a lot of exams and that's okay. That's part of that learning process. That's part of the development process of yourself as a human being and of your winning or potentially winning idea. So don't be afraid of making mistakes. In fact, rejoice in the mistakes because you've learned a lesson, you've done an exam, and you can move on to further exams and with more knowledge and more capacity. The next, the next step along this, uh, this process is uh, probably the, the, the second most important one, and it is to take risks accept chances, don't be afraid. You know, very few people regret trying. Everybody always regrets not trying. I often speak with, uh, with old people, especially if I, like this time, I was driving here through the mountains, and uh, in this occasion I didn't stop, but I often stop in little villages, and there's always some old people that if you just say hello to them, they will talk to you because nobody talks to them. And, uh, they are actually really wise masters in a way, you know, they, they are not, they, I'm not a master, they are masters because they did that process that I described before of life and they did lots of exams and filed plenty of them and passed some and learned lots of things. And when you speak to them, they very seldom will speak about uh, regretting trying something and not making it. They will always speak about regretting what they didn't try. I could have gone there, I had this idea, I had this opportunity, uh, I was thinking of, but then I didn't because I was afraid, because it was hard, because I was comfortable, because, because, because. And they are the thing that they regret the most. So don't let yourself make that same mistake. Take chances and the rule before, if the chance turns out a mistake, well, at least you've tried. You've learned something, go on to the next. And the final step in this process is to do everything you do or everything you wish to do or every idea you wish to develop with all your heart. There is no point in doing things halfway. Somewhere, uh, a wise person said that somewhere there is a, a museum of procrastination where there are the greatest inventions never made, the greatest books never written, and so on and so forth. So don't let your winning ideas end up in that museum of procrastination. An idea by itself is just a thought in your head. It's through the process that I've described and it's through discipline and hard work and effort and trial and error and taking chances it's through all of that 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 idea becomes something. And to do all that, I have to do something with all my heart. So don't do things in halves. There is no point. It's like when you are in your university lessons and half of you is listening to the professors and half of you is writing the email and you're smiling and looking up pretending you're not. In reality, you're getting nothing from the lesson and you're really writing an awful email. I hope you're not sending it, okay? So do the lesson, then write the email, then. And if it's something important, if it's a potentially winning idea that can make a difference to your life and perhaps without being utopic to the life of many other people, then do it and give it your 100%. Give it your best. So these are the small steps that in Shaolin culture are viewed as the small thinking, the small thinking that takes you on a long journey towards success or Perhaps not success, but at least through a journey that is fulfilling to you, where you gave your best and you tried and you took chances and you lived 
rather than existed. So I thank you very, very much for this uh, 10 minutes or so together. And I hope that these ideas can help you share with me and with all of us your winning ideas for the 21st century. Thank you. Omitofo.